Hey friends, Dave Burke is here. Welcome back to The Daily Burke. Today we are talking about how to build trust as a leader. Now, trust, whether you are a senior leader of an organization, whether you're the charismatic leader of a new social movement, or whether you're a newly hired middle manager just trying to kind of remember your people's names and understand the best way to lead them, trust is one of the pivotal things that you're going to need to develop as a leader. You need your people to feel trusted and you need to know that they trust you and your guidance as, as well. Now, in the world of trust, in terms of research, I am indebted to the work of Paul Zak. Paul Zak is a brilliant researcher who's done a ton of work on the chemical oxytocin and its effect inside our brain. Now, oxytocin is the chemical that your brain is, is feeling. It's the chemical that's present in your brain when you're feeling love and when you're feeling trust. And one of the things that we know about oxytocin release and about that feeling of trust is that it's not actually built. It's not actually earned. Trust is reciprocated. So in other words, if you want to be trusted as a leader, the first thing that you need to do is exhibit faith, trust in your people. That can be in a myriad of different ways, but you, you need to make it clear to them that you are stepping out in faith in them. You are trusting them. That will then get them to feel trusted and they will then reciprocate with trust in you as well. Trust isn't earned, it isn't built, it's reciprocated. So that is like area number one, the first thing to do is not worry about how you're going to build trust as a leader, but worry about how you're going to demonstrate that you have trust in them as a leader. Now, the second thing is not so much a, a thing that we know from research and how to build trust, but in how trust gets destroyed. If you're doing this reciprocal trust thing, then it's going to be an upward spiral of success unless you do something as a leader to kill it. And the number one way that that gets uh, destroyed is your response to feedback. Your response to feedback as a leader, your response to new ideas for the organization, all of those things are going to be things that your people are watching to decide whether or not they were given a fair hearing, whether or not they're being treated properly, but also whether or not they feel like they can trust you enough to give you honest feedback. This is what the uh, psychologist and business school professor Amy Edmondson would call psychological safety. Do your people really believe that they can be open and honest and candid with you and that they're not just going to get canned or they're not going to get berated or they're not going to get embarrassed, etc. So when we're thinking about how to build trust as a leader, those are the two big things to remember. First is that trust is not earned, it's not built, it's reciprocated. How can you demonstrate trust in your people and then trust that they will reciprocate that back and over time you together in this reciprocal trust relationship will spiral up towards greater levels of trust. And the second thing to be thinking about is make sure that you are not killing it in the way that you're responding to feedback. Your people need to know that they can give you candid and honest feedback even if it's negative and that you'll respond appropriately in a way that hears it, that considers it, that improves because of it and not in a way that embarrasses them or threatens their livelihood or their jobs, etc. Trust isn't built, it's not earned. Trust is reciprocated. And so how to build trust? Be trustworthy and trust other people. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Daily Burke. Leave a comment, let me know. Let me, let me know what time, let me know this. Let me know what time when a leader just killed your trust in him or her. And while you're leaving that comment, maybe maybe throw in what they could have done differently, but while you're leaving that comment too, trust me, make sure that you are followed or subscribed to the show because my goal is to post a new episode every single weekday that's designed to help you do your best work ever, wherever you are in the career cycle, whether you're a senior leader, whether you're a middle manager, or whether you're just trying to get hired, we're trying to help you do your best work ever. So make sure you're a follower, subscribe to the show, and you're not missing new episodes. And I trust that I'll see you tomorrow.